Recently, I've noticed an uproar in online games on Roblox. And that's why I've decided I'm gonna go ahead and make my very own LAN game on Roblox. And more importantly, see if I can make it popular. While building this game, I kinda had a main theme in mind. I wanted it to be, you know, something with space. And so then what I initially set on is a game called Line to Abduction. And basically you'd queue up until you were abducted by a bunch of aliens. And then I went ahead here and created a map here. I used all types of different models and assets until I had something I was kind of satisfied with. Okay, so I won't lie to you, I don't consider myself a very good builder, but I'm actually quite proud of this map here. So we have our queue over here, I did a nice plane, a little alien for some fun effects over here, and of course we have the main centerpiece which is the UFO, and we're going to have this little hologram that's going to pop up and disappear, and we have a couple of rocks and a car because why not. And let's just see how this looks inside of a game. I also made sure that the players can't zoom out further than this. So this is the maximum that you can zoom out. And then this is the minimum. And then as you can see, it's looking all very well. And now I'm going to work on some UI. Now, no wonder this UI took me so insanely long. Because I am absolutely awful at Roblox UI design. But eventually, in the end, I got it done. And as you're going to see, I did refine this UI quite a bit, so this isn't really a final draft, it's just something that I go ahead and change a little bit. Then I basically spent like 4 hours scripting everything and making everything in Roblox TS, and I really use Roblox TS as it's something obviously I've been vouching for quite a bit, and also I just wanted to have more experience using Roblox TS. Now, you may think this is the end of it, but no. no! I still have a few major changes I'm actually going to be making to the design, but let me let you know that we're very close to finishing it here. Okay, so I have finished the logic of the game here, and I have changed it a little bit. So the plan is that you queue up, you have your general queuing up system, and then what happens is you go into a rocket, and you fly up and you go through a bunch of different artifacts and things along those lines. Also what I made sure is that once you reach the top you will be sent back. So now I'm going to quickly demonstrate the entire game to you. Okay so as you can see we have all of our players here. And as you can see this player is currently waiting. They'll have to wait a couple of seconds and then they'll be moved over to the rocket. So as you can see you can also skip. So if we change to a different player here Say I'm this player, what I can do is I can spend my money to skip and keep in mind everybody will make a certain amount of money depending on where they are in the queue. So let's say I pay and I pay Robux, this is a paid feature and I can actually skip to the front just like this. Now what's going to happen is once the time hits zero, you're going to climb above the rocket like this. Now what will happen is the um, ignition will be there and everybody's screen will shake a little bit. So the shaking here will not be very long, however if we go to the player that is being launched, the shaking will be very aggressive and the noise will be much louder. As you can see, the player then shakes and the time turns to night time and then they transfer into the galaxy. And as you can see here, what will happen is these players will continue to increase until they reach the solar system's, I guess, peak. And as you can see, they'll go past a ton of artifacts, and literally that will be that, okay? And then once they reach the top, they'll be brought back. And this is essentially a space story. I will speed it up just so you can view all of the different things that happen while you're sent to space. I've also made sure that I get notified in Discord every time a player joins the game. Also keep in mind of the groovy space music that is constantly being played. Okay, and as you can see we're about to reach the end of the galaxy here. And once we go through it, we're going to get a message, so any second now. And there's the message, it said that we're going to be sent back to Earth. And just like magic, we're sent back to Earth where we will then repeat the process and it just continues to go on, just like that. 
Okay, so obviously a game like this only works if there's enough players inside of the game. So what I'm going to do is to initially get our game maybe some traction, what I'm going to do is I'm going to create an advertisement and I'll guide you guys through the steps of that. Okay, so right now what I need to do is to create adverts on Roblox, I need to convert my Robux into ad credits. And right now I have no Robux at all so I'm going to have to go ahead and buy some. Okay, so there we go, we now have our money and let's convert this into ad credits. Okay, great, so it looks like our ad credit balance has now increased, and now let's try and make a campaign for our game. Okay, just before I advertise the game, I want to make sure everything is working, and I think it is, which is perfect. And once I've confirmed everything is working, I'll go ahead and create the advert. Okay, so it looks like everything is now working, so I'm going to go ahead and create a brand new campaign. Okay, it looks like we can set the goal here of either awareness, visits, or video views. I'm going to set it to visits. And then let's do a um, daily budget. Okay, and let's just run this um, campaign for 24 hours. That looks good to me. So that's going to be 8 ad credits for each day here. So that's October 13th, which is today, and October 14th, which is tomorrow. And let's just call this campaign name. Uh, advertisement for space game amazing and let's make sure we spell that right okay next so we can either do an experience portal a sponsored experience or a search experience so I think I'm gonna go for a sponsored experience here as you can see we have a target audience size of 170 million to 200 million and as you can see here we can set regions so, and what I'm going to do here is, I'm going to specifically promote it to 13 to 17 users. This is, as I know, 18 to 24 and 25 plus players won't really be that interested inside of my game. As you can see, all the devices here that are being targeted are good. However, let's see what happens if I didn't target desktop. Perhaps I should, um not target desktop reason being is i don't think this is really a game people would play on desktop so and maybe console too so i think if we target mobile and tablet it'll be ideal for us as you can see i'm just going to let roblox decide what my maximum bid should be and let's set the destination experience of course to be my game which is line to space here it is there we go we got our nice little thumbnail here that looks all fun. I like the Robloxing imaging they've been doing here. And let's just rename the ad to line to space at. Perfect. Or just line to space. Then let's click next and let's review everything here. Everything looks all good to me. Let's go ahead and submit the advert. Here it goes. Okay, so it looks like the campaign is live. And now what we need to do is we need to wait for it to go. So as you can see, it's active, and now we just need to give it time to work. Oh my god, wow, okay, people are already joining the game here. And yeah, it looks like they are queuing up to go on the space. Oh my god, this is... I was not expecting this many players so quickly. Oh my god, this is actually a lot of players, but it seems like everything is working, which is a good sign. Hopefully nothing goes wrong. Okay, that guy is about to go, so let's see. Okay, that looks good. Oh, did someone leave the game? And, oh, come on. Ah, uh, yes! Perfect, it's working, let's go. Alright, this is good, everything's working. I also think, like, the sound effects and the camera shake is really, like, a nice way to keep everybody interested in the game. Yeah, let's go ahead and skip that guy, perfect. Um... And yeah, everything's just working. What more can I say? This is good. We're on track to have a popular line game here. Oh yeah, look, she's animating. So I think emotes do actually work with this system, which is quite nice, because it's always fun to, you know, emote while you queue. And oh, okay, here we go. Here's how we go. And we hop into the rocket and lift off. <laughs> yes. Ah, oh, this is such a relief, everything. Let's just go into free cam here and take a look around the map. Yeah, it's going to turn into space any second now, so, you know, just ignore that. And is that falling UFO? What was that? 
But yes, as you can see, there are people waiting to go up to space. Oh no, what is she saying to that poor gentleman there? That is so unkind. Oh, and look, we're just going past Mars. I'm just going to leave and rejoin so I can watch everything, you know? Maybe what I should do is I should actually promote my own game on my Discord. You know what, let me do that. Okay, and then over here to announcements at everyone. Um, yep, join me in this game. I need everybody. Remember, whenever you make your game, you need to promote it to everyone. And bang, and there we go. Okay, let's just add some fun reactions there. Okay, and now let's see if anybody actually joins because of that. Oh, okay, yeah, people are reacting. <laughs> Hopefully things go good here. Um, let's see. I'm waiting. It's up. This is such a funny game. I can't actually believe this is a trend, but you know what? Whatever floats your boat, I'll be happy to support. Okay, it looks like people have seen it, so there must be a couple people that join. Um, yeah, but look, we have so many people. Oh, my queuing game is coming to life. Oh, he just skipped me. Oh, that sucks. No, who keeps skipping? Oh, oh, he just skipped to the front. He just skipped to the front. Oh, my God. Aspect, you're evil. This is so cool. Okay, oh my god, we have a lot of people joining right now. I don't know if that's people from sponsors or the Discord server, but hey ho. Oh, look, Aspect is going up. Oh, this is so stupid. Uh oh, he's falling. Ooh. There we go. Okay, I was a little bit scared there. Okay, perfect. Yeah, let's hope nothing breaks. That was a little bit scary how he didn't climb up the truss there. Uh, there's a lot of familiar faces here, so if any of you guys want to join my silly experiments, just join the Discord server, link down below. And as you can see, there's all the rockets climbing up. So I think we've done what we wanted to accomplish, but now the deciding question is, can we keep this popular? <laughs> the person asking what's the point, yeah, that's a good question. Uh, I guess I can say what the video is about, so I'll do that now. Oh, someone's getting skipped. But everything seems to be working good. Uh oh, what the f Where's- uh oh. Um, that's not good. Why has he gone there? Is it broken? Uh oh, I'm actually scared. Oh uh, no, this is not good. I think we found a bug. <laughs> Who are you? Who are you? I think- so uh, Oh no, I gotta do a lot of bug fixing. Oh no, he skipped and it's broken. No, it's broken. It's broken. It's not working. Oh my god. <laughs> oh my god. No, look. Look at what's happening. Oh. oh my god. What a disaster. This is so bad. Okay. I need to fix this urgently. Oh my god. <laughs> oh, I broke the entire game. Oh no. Oh no, oh my god, that's so embarrassing, oh my god. Okay, so for some weird reason, there's just been like a spike in activity and there's a ton of people playing again. But unfortunately, I still haven't fixed my bug, so it's kind of in the back of my mind right now. Hey, hold on. How are people able to spin their cameras like- Oh, it's shift lock, isn't it? Yeah, probably, okay. I'm gonna need to find a way to disable that. And oh, for f sake, the issue is back again, and I really actually have to devote time now to fixing this. Okay, so with all launches, there's been a couple of big bugs. Well, I wouldn't even say this is like a normal launch. So that's just a lesson for everybody. Always test before you push to production. However, I've gone ahead now and all of these bugs should be fixed. So no more strange flying out of aircrafts, no more duplicate aircrafts, no more funky stuff. It should all be over and hopefully it is coming to the end of day two. Yes, it's 10.25. I honestly should be going to bed now, but it's the end of day one and we'll see how day two plays out tomorrow. Unfortunately, I was unable to get any footage from day two. This is because I was in school for most of the day, but apart from that, it's time that we go into the final analysis and the final outcome of my little experiment here. So, 
As you can see, here we are on the engagement page right now, which is part of the new analytics. I say new, this has been around for like years now. And as we can see here, we have some statistics. Luckily, this experiment happened exactly seven days. So the time you should be seeing this video is the day that I'm recording this voiceover. But I launched the game seven days ago and the sponsorship ran from seven to six days ago. So here it is, it's perfectly seven days ago, and as you can see, our daily active users, it was 258 here, and 328 on the second day. So more interestingly, on the second day, it was higher than the first day, which is quite interesting. Maybe there was a natural increase, or maybe just the sponsorship was higher on the second day. Of course, I didn't really expect returning users. I mean, it's not really a game where you would return. But I guess if you do want a successful game, you would want a high rate of return. Okay, so this average playtime is not that good at all. So ideally, if I remember correctly, you want around an average playtime of 8 minutes. And as you can see here, it's only 3.5. Now, of course, it didn't help that our game was initially broken. Okay, so we had the average time was around 3 to 4 minutes. So that's only half of what we wanted. Although on the first day, we did have a high average session time. But it's also important to consider that there were actually Cookie Tech members at, in the game at this point. So that may have skewed the results a little bit. And this is quite funny. You can see how many people were still playing after 5 minutes. You can see that there were only 30.4% of people playing. The total playtime we got for the 7 days was 7.8 hours. Okay, and finally, of course, you're all interested in how much Robux this would have actually made. So, if we have a look at the monetization menu here, you can see, in total, we made 749 Robux. And I think this is before taxes. Now, we can't really count the first day as there were Cookie Tech members, but on the first day, we did make 665 Robux, and on the second day, we made 94 Robux. So, more realistically, from our adverts, we were making around 94 Robux. And this means we've made a loss of around 4,251 Robux. And as you can see, really after our sponsorship finished, we didn't really get any visits. So perhaps I would have needed to put more money into sponsorships or I had it go for longer. Or maybe my game was just absolutely awful and line games are a terrible idea. But I'll leave that decision for you to decide. Finally, I thought I would only spend the money I earned on the game giving it to other people because that's the only the fair option. Oh no, are these bots? These look like bots, oh no! There's no way this guy's about to ask me for a box. So thank you for watching, that's all from me today, if you enjoyed please do let me know by leaving a subscription, maybe a like, and join the description if you want to talk to other members in the community. That's all from me, and toodaloo.